Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Did you know that there is an uh, international anti-fascist uh, congress or organization? No, 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 not the Antifa, anti-fascist here in the United States, which are venerated by the left, uh, which I'm telling you, they will not venerate this, the other organization or congress of anti-fascists. They will not. It's just here in the United States that they have to fight fascists. In the world, no. You know why? Because the Russians are involved in that. So, we have this article from the New Voice of Ukraine, and this is the title. Russian invasion of Ukraine caused by, quote-unquote, unacceptable threats to Russia's security, says Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. This is what they claimed all along. So let's see. Speaking at the meeting of the first international anti-fascist congress, who wouldn't want to participate, right? Who loves fa fascism? Nobody. Just crazies. So I'm assuming they have some uh, a delegation of uh, the American branch of Antifa participating um, at the congress uh, proceeding proceedings. So, speaking at the meeting of the first international anti-fascist congress, the minister repeated Russia's propaganda claims. It's not propaganda. It's that what they said. Our security is threatened because NATO installations will be at our border. Is that a fact? Is that a fact? Could they feel threatened by that? You say no? Okay, then you would be obviously okay with some military installations, Russian military installations in Canada or and Mexico. What do you think would happen? Let's say if a few uh, air defense systems show up in, um, let's say, uh, Mexicali or something in the south, <laughs> whatever, Rio Grande border. What do you think would happen? You, Russia, would, uh, United, States, United States will say, well, it's okay, we did it to them, so it's okay no, to uh, do the same thing to us, right? <laughs> I don't think so. Remember Cuba? Remember uh, uh, Cuba in relation to Turkey? Because people remember only Cuba, but not Turkey. <laughs> Turkey was the reason why the Cuban Missile Crisis occurred. Not Cuba per se, it was Turkey. But yeah, I want, I've said that many times, the Americans put atomic nuclear weapons over there ready. And Khrushchev told them, get them out. <laughs> psst, the same as now. Psst, psst, psst. Okay, we want to put ours in Cuba. And they didn't even put them. They didn't have, as they say, well, they, had, they placed nuclear weapons. There were no nuclear weapons in Cuba. They were working on, uh, on, on doing uh, launching pads for that. And they all, you can't have that. But ma you have in, in, uh, in Turkey nuclear weapons towards us. You take them out, we stop that. That's exactly what happens. H what happened? They signed a, a treaty, an agreement, very nicely, that uh, uh, in six months they will take their nuclear weapons, which they did from Turkey. These guys stopped the thing with uh, um, Cuba. Cuba. So, speaking at the meeting, yeah, and I'm quoting, and it's not propaganda, that's a fact. That's a fact. You have an enemy and the enemy puts his weapon in your uh, front yard. What are you going to do? Oh, I don't feel threatened at all. Okay, I don't feel threatened at all. I shouldn't feel threatened at all. Then you should not feel, be, feel threatened at all if I do the same thing to you, right? Oh my God, no. So the Kiev regime has committed flagrant crimes against citizens of the DPR and LPR for eight years, quote unquote. The Russian Defense Ministry's telegram messenger quoted Shoigu as saying, and I'm quoting again, thousands of innocent people died, including children. At the same time, the North Atlantic Alliance began the military development of Ukrainian territory. Kiev took a course to join NATO. All this created unacceptable threats to Russian security, end quote. What did they do about it? Pfft. What are they going to do, Russia? Well, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We're going to invade. Ah, no, 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 anyway. Oh, we dare you. We dare you to invade because when you invade, we got you where we want you to be where we're going to drain you of your, your, arm, your arms, your force, your, your uh, weapons, your manpower, military, and your economy. 
but they triggered something else, another alliance in the meantime. There is no evidence to back up Shoigu's claims. This is what this guy says. There is no evidence to back up Shoigu's claim. No, that means zero. Now, they talk about propaganda. There is no NATO military infrastructure in Ukraine. No, it would have been. And Ukraine was a neutral country. No, it wasn't. It had a lot of uh, American and NATO commanders and uh, trainers over there. It, was, it didn't have Russians. So if you're neutral, you have from anywhere, but it didn't have Russians. I'm not saying they should have had, but they didn't have Chinese. They had only uh, British, they had Americans, NATO. So it was not a, a neutral at all. If you want to join NATO, that means you're not neutral at all with your intentions, are you? And uh, was a neutral country when the Kremlin st started its war on the country in 2014. No, Kremlin did not start a war in, on the country in 2014. You, though, that in any other country, people who topple a legitimate, democratically elected government with the help of outside influence, they are called traitors. Wherever, let's say United States, do we agree we have a democratically elected government? Yes. Do we all like who's in charge? No, but this is democracy. You vote and whomever the majority will, uh, you know, get the, or the electoral college, whatever, is going to get the president and then you vote for your elected representatives. That's how it works. That's exactly what worked over there. Oh, it's corruption. Don't tell me about corruption. Where, where is no corruption? In Canada? United States? In Germany? Please. There must be all perfect, which you know it's not. So don't tell me about corruption. So more corruption, less corruption. That was, there was votes. Democracy worked, but they were not uh, the ones that had to win. The ones that some people interest backed lost. So then what happened? Let's say United States, the Chinese sponsor a few guys here that do not like the current government, and they militarily win weapons and all that. They toppled the government. How are these guys called? Are they called heroes? In Ukraine, they're called hero, heroes by their supporters. They will be called traitors because they worked from outside help to overthrow a legitimate, democratically elected government. That's what happened in 2014 with the help of the United States of America. We have Newland, Victoria Newland there, Newland, another Zelensky, another Zmihal, somehow involved in that. We have the recording speaking with the uh, American ambassador, and they were who they would pick to be the new uh, the new leader of Ukraine. They used to be on YouTube. Maybe they still are under different uh, names. So that's how it happened. And then the people in uh, in the east they said we don't recognize this government, which is proper. You, you wouldn't recognize the Chinese put new uh, government over there and funded, would you? No, I wouldn't. So then there's certain regions who said no, we don't recognize that. And what did the new government put by the Chinese in Washington do? Send the military to destroy them, to make them like them. And they said, no, we're going to defend ourselves. So who attacked who? So the, the claim that Kremlin starts its war on the country in 2014, that's a lie. That's a lie. According to the Russian defense minister, in February, the Supreme Commander Putin made the, the only correct decision to conduct a special military operation against this background. Special military operation is a term the Kremlin uses to avoid the use of, uh, of the word war. A euphemism, I agree with that. Russia invaded Ukraine in 2014. That's not true. There's no military, no proof that Russian military invaded Ukraine in 2014. After the fall, after the fall of the regime of fugitive Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych. He didn't run. He ran after you guys did something. He was in Russia to talk with uh, another president when these guys uh, started their overthrow camp, uh, overthrowing actions in Kiev. And then when he came back, they said, we're going to get you. He agreed with, okay, we're going to have another elections. We're going to have all this. Yeah, okay. And they said, no, you're not going to have, you have to go. <clears throat> so this is how the euphemism works here. The fall. It was not a fall. It was a, a uh, overthrow, coup d'etat, with outside influence and help. What do you want? But uh, the fugitive, 
Yeah, he ran for his life. What do you want, you want to stay over there and end up like uh, Mussolini in Milano? Piazza de Milano over there, hung upside down and that, just watch, look at those pictures and see how they looked. That's how he would have, and, or a trial, a Nuremberg trial like, is that would have been a better uh, uh, entertainment for the mob? All right, whatever. It then launched a military occupation of Ukraine's Crimea and parts of parts of Luhansk and Donetsk Oblast. Crimea voted through referendum, like uh, <clears throat> should I mention it? Uh, Kosovo. Oh my God! And who bombed whom in Kosovo? NATO, the Defensive Alliance. Why? They got inside of another country for whatever it was a civil war over there. Why? Because they can. If the Russians do the same thing, you can't. If NATO does it, A-OK. -okay. And it was illegal because it was not approved by the uh, United Nations Security Council. So that's why it's illegal. And if you do that, that means that directed to the war crimes. But was anybody charged? Yeah, only one person. Who? Uh, the, the Serbian president, uh, Slobodan Milosevic, right? <laughs> yeah, so this is what it is here with these guys. Uh, they told them exactly what it is and they don't like it. And as you see, they're trying to spin it that it was the Russians who invaded in 2014 uh, because it was a change of regime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the de details matter. So if you are not aware with the anti-fascist, uh, you know, movement and uh, with Shoigu and all that, you should participate next time. Antifa from the United States. But no, this Antifa is meant for something else. Antifa here is meant only with one group. It's meant for one group. And that's based on skin color. And that group, if they stay as they stay, like uh, the frog in a, a warm water that's going to be boiling, they're going to end up like uh, the French ended up in uh, Haiti. <laughs> Just look into that. Yeah, they will end up like that. Or maybe like Brazil, if you want Brazil. I know it's not going to be Brazil, because Brazil is different in that respect. They didn't uh, slaughter anybody. Uh, all right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.